So if you're anything like me, you want to figure out how to use custom GPTs in Zapier workflows. I've spent hours and hours trying to figure this out. And the reason why I couldn't figure it out is because at the moment, Zapier says it's not possible to integrate a custom GPT into a workflow. You can integrate the normal models like ChatGPT4 and 3 and all those different ones, but you cannot create the knowledge base and build that in. What you can do is use a thread and have information saved to that thread, but I didn't like that answer and I wanted to find a better way to build my custom model and then have it respond using ChatGPT. Here's my GPT, it works like normal. You can see in the other video we created Zapier Actions. Don't worry, you don't need to do any of this. This is a no-code solution. And what we're gonna do is instead, we're gonna go to GPT Trainer. So this is a chatbot tool, but basically what it's letting you do is build a GPT exactly how you would in ChatGPT, except they have the API set up for Zapier. So you'll go ahead and make an account. I think to use their API, it's $50 a month. I am on the starter plan right now because I just figured this out and just started using it. And it allows me to do everything I want. So you create that account, you jump in. I'll quickly show you some of the steps here. So it'll take you to the settings. Basically what I did was I take the exact same instructions that are in my GPT and I put them in here. And I moved through this. This is by far the easiest chatbot I've ever set up and I was actually really impressed with how quickly it learned off of our data. I will be moving our chatbot from our website over to this as well. Uh, there's lead, custom fields. Um, I haven't played with any of this. So that's really the, the basics there. The next thing that's important is your sources. So I trained this on our knowledge base, which is basically all our Q and A's, all the information we need to know, and it matches with our custom instructions. The next thing I did here was add some of our website so it gets a little bit smarter and learns a little bit more about Otter PR. So it's fully trained on all of these. It, again, only took me a couple minutes. It was really easy, I just add source here and you can pick the source and add it. The next thing here is basically, you're, you're more or less done here. So you can see some of the custom chats I've done and now we're gonna jump into Zapier. The issue I was facing is when you go to OpenAI, you come in here and you want to create a custom model. So let's see, assistant. And then you'd want to create your model and you'd want that to be, you know, your custom model. Unfortunately, you can't do that. But another workaround for you guys is you can save the conversation as a conversation ID, train that conversation as if it was a model. You can upload everything. Um, but I just wasn't comfortable with that. I didn't think it was going to work and I thought there was going to be a lot of errors in that scenario. So let's go ahead and delete that. So the next step here, if you're new to this, basically what we're trying to do is have, when someone emails us, their ChatGPT or the GPT trainer is then going to look at the email, create a draft response. So the first thing we need to do is find that email. Um, we're going to set that up. You'll connect it to your email address. You'll trigger, it's just for right now I have it when it hits the inbox. I'll change this to a specific filter so I know it's interested in the future. And you're gonna find that email, you're gonna continue, and basically now you have the email information. Now, GPT Trainer, you're going to connect this. Um, it's really easy to connect. They have a easy link for you, but if you just come here and then you go to account, you'll hit generate API key, and that'll create your API key. Make sure, just copy it when it's here, delete, edit, whatever you need to do. Uh, and then you will link your API key to Zapier. And then once you're in there, basically you can use this model. So it's gonna ask you for your chatbot ID. That's gonna be under your dashboard. That'll be right here. And that will be the specific chatbot that you made and how you trained it. Uh, I'm really viewing this as a model because I was able to kind of override some of its instructions and really be detailed in here and get the results exactly how I wanted, formatted how I wanted. So you're able to do all that, which I thought was impressive. And that way I can actually train this model to do exactly what I wanted to do in the future. And it will still take a little bit of training, but that's it. So come in here, it'll read the body of this email, which I captured beforehand, continue, and then it'll come up with a response, specifically how I program it to respond. So some things I'm gonna change in the future is this is some training material up here, and then this, it will go away because we're going to add a signature in the next step. The next step is to draft reply in Gmail from another email. So create draft reply. 
Uh, so that's gonna look for that email and it's gonna create a drafted reply, meaning it'll just save that reply as a draft. The reason why I don't wanna send this yet is because I'm not comfortable handing over my sales to basically a, a model. I would much rather have the people on my team at least quickly review and approve that material. And maybe there's a formatting issue, something like that. They can still do that at some point you might be able to switch over, but I'm personally not there yet. Anyways, we'll go continue, continue, and this part's the easy part. The thread ID, so if you add in here, you go there and you just type in thread ID, should be somewhere towards the bottom. I'm already using it, but it's one of these, they're both the same. So that'll put in your thread ID since you already looked it up in this step. So it's making sure it's the same email. Uh, two is already coming from there. So you just go to and find it there. And then that's really all you have to do, the from. Then you'll create, you'll put the body in there. You'll have your signature preset. So it gives you options on signature, which is nice. And then you can label it after you're done, do different actions here, add an attachment if needed. Um, but that's all we really want to do for this step. And then continue test and this is the end result. So it basically took my initial response, which it was trained on. I was asking about the pricing and how to get started, and it knew exactly what to do. And the nice thing is I already reformatted this, so let me just go republish this for you. The way I have it set up right now, because we're still training the AI, is basically, you'll see here in the prompt, it actually tells us you know, what offer this is, what the CTA is supposed to be, what that URL is, and that's all based off of the prompt creation that we did. Uh, and so that's really it. If you guys like content like this, please make sure to subscribe. And if you check down in the description, there'll be a free offer to USA Wire, which is what we were showing you in this video. And that'll get you a full free feature. It's focused for business owners and it's a lead generation for the agency I own, Otter PR. Thank you, make sure to subscribe, appreciate it.